know, people always, for some whatever reason, on whether it's watch or rivalry, people always say Monet was really high today. And I'm like, I just want to let everyone know, I so maybe once in our once maybe twice in our entire podcast history have I done um the devil's lettuce during an episode of the podcast the cuckoo cabbage well it's probably because you talk about getting it's probably because you talk about getting high all the time and you say that you no, smoke I weed every not. single day I do not Monet, you're the one who, you're the one who wants to do an entire series on uh, Patreon where you smoke weed and hang out with the pages. No one no one forced that on you. That was yes, your idea. Yes, that was literally your volition. Okay, that was literally Jacob's idea. Jacob was like, Monet should do a thing where she gets out, which is what she does. Oh, and, and he forced you into it. Twi- he, he twisted not, he your not, thick wrist. Jacob will skin itself, bully it. you into it. Jacob brought Jacob suggested, and I was like, "Oh, that's a good idea." But you have created this own narrative in your head, you and your sneaky little boyfriend. You also said you smoke weed every day. You said I do. I do pot every day. Okay, I do, but that doesn't mean that I'm doing it actively when I'm doing the podcast. So I'm saying because you put out into the world the narrative that you smoke pot or do pot or eat it or whatever the fuck you drink it or put it in butter, whatever y'all weed heads be doing. Because you put into the world that you do it every single day. Folks are like, well, I just assume she's high. Because she did tell us she does pot every day. Well, you know what? Let's talk about you being a fucking cokehead. Okay? Let's, 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 let's talk about that. All the coke you be doing. That's why, you have me wondering why, why Bobby so, he why Bobby so you to cover this motherfucker. He be doing coke. Bobby doing rails of cocaine every episode. <laughs> that is Hey, come, you know, I'm, I don't even feel the need to uh, defend myself because anyone listening knows that I am absolutely not um, a cokehead. <laughs> but you know what, Miss Thing? Whatever uh, narrative you want to uh, spread to the world. I've never even done a coke. Even before I got sober, I never did coke once. Yeah, I can't, Bob, you already so... I, you on cocaine would literally my wig would fly off of my head my imaginary wig I kind of feel like I missed the boat like I was like I should have done coke at least once <laughs> I know that's how I feel about a lot of drugs um, let's take this uh, by the way y'all don't tell the thing about being on this doing the stereo app with Jacob moderating messages when Jacob wants you to listen to a message <laughs> he is he is so aggressive Hey, Bob, it's me, Peppermint. I got that um, delivery of the cocaine in. Uh, it's ready for you. Um, they said meet us out back by the dumpster. <laughs> you see? I told y'all. See, y'all never want to believe me. This is proof. And beyond no Peppermint, Peppermint is not lying. Peppermint only tells the truth. Y'all, the, the real Bob the Dragon is being exposed today on this watch screen. I'm very happy about it. Who you really are. And Monet, we need to talk about the Sash game. It's time to talk about I the Sash game. I know. Is, is Snatch Game your favorite episode of the season? Uh, it depends. I, mean, I like Snatch Game in general, um, but I actually prefer to, as a viewer, I prefer to watch the design episodes, to be honest. Me too. The, um, episodes are my, the design and makeover ones are always my favorites that, that I look forward to every season. But when there is a good Snatch Game, I'm like, this is epic. This is everything. But when there's a bad Snatch Game, I'm like, mama... This is garbage. Let me just say up front, off the bat, I don't think this will go down as one of the worst in history. I don't think this will go down as one of the best in history. Yeah. I think this will just go down as a completely middle of the road snatch game. Um, ah, yeah. kind of. I, I think there are one or two that, to me, well, we'll get into it. But I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. Um, but I feel there are one or two that were really good. Wait, what am I reading? Oh, I'm still talking about my notes are because the note because the episode starts from the last episode. My notes are from the last episode, and I was like, "What is going on?" And now I'm looking at this, and and also it's been so long. I forgot that the last thing was a double Shantae. No, I forgot. Like, I forgot was, about that. The already. last thing was a COVID special. No, yeah, I mean besides the COVID, I mean oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> but um, so someone someone saying there. Are, Someone being like, double Shantae's are rare. Like, I mean, I guess they're kind of rare. That's what I was saying, too. Well, you know, that was Aquarius' big thing on our season. That's what, like, towards the end, that's when people were getting, when, when like, everybody gave Aquarius fever because she was mad that Rue gave Cameron and Eureka the, the, the double Shantae. She was like, well, fuck. So now when I need it, I won't be able to get it. Cut to you fast forward to the grand finale. Oh, bitch, you got your double Shantae. <laughs> 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 
And I still think Tina should have been in the top. Like, I still think Tina should have been in the top last week. Let's see it, same. Uh, the Snatch Game. So, Bob, I went, so Rue is going through the girls. And he's mm-hmm. and people are talking about their 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 people are gonna do. What are your immediate thoughts about this goddamn squirrel hat? I was like, what a stupid idea. First of all, it just literally makes no sense. Like it just and also, but also, I think a little bit, a little bit of it is societal pressure. Like she's like she's afraid to put on an afro because she's afraid to wear it on TV and get canceled for wearing an afro. But it's so weird because she's on the Snatch Game with another white person with an afro. Rich, Richard Simmons is a white person oh. with an afro. No, but, but, Tina, but Tina didn't have it as an afro. It looked like a, a fucking Kimora Lee. It would look like a Kimora, uh, a Kamara Hall big hairdo. It didn't look like an afro at all. It, it wasn't an afro. It was like a, just a big styled hair. But all I'm saying is this. There are white people in the world who have Oh, absolutely. Afros. Yeah, yeah. And if you're playing a white person with an afro, so... Now, granted, Tina didn't do the afro, and and maybe Tina's approach was probably smarter than what Utica did. It was just weird. It was just a weird take. It was a really weird take on the hair, which also a, a big thing is to remember. People got to say that one of the biggest things about Snatch Game is making RuPaul laugh. It's not about nailing it. It's not about looking like. It's not about giving the most authentic. It's about just making RuPaul laugh, which is so weird when um. When Utica was like, I want to prove RuPaul wrong. I'm like, weird objective. <laughs> she yeah, said, I want to yeah. prove RuPaul wrong. Weird objective, kid. Like, n- this is not, pick your battles, and this is not the one. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Let's just go down the line, shall we? Let's start yes, with let's um, do it. Simone. Bitch. Simone as Harry Tubman. When she came up from under that table, that was to me one of the best moments of the night. That I that shit was so funny because it was funny. I, I, it was hilarious. Hilarious. I thought it was brilliant. It was great, but also that's where she peaked. She peaked at the top of the snatch game. She did. She did. Like her her. Her first bit was her best bit, and the rest, she was just being Simone dressed as a slave. <laughs> the rest, she was like, now, RuPaul, baby, let me tell you, honey, all these people up in here, this thing. I was like, this is, but this you is know what? Simone dressed as Harry Tubman. There's some respect for that, because, like, I watch, like, other, like, I watch, like, celebrities who do, like, special guest appearances. Like, RuPaul, for example. RuPaul's done so many things, in, so many cameos in the 90s, 2000s, whatever it is. And any in any of those cameras, RuPaul is acting. He's doing a great job acting, but he's always playing Ru, Ru himself as those characters. That makes sense. So I'm like Simone is like I ain't gonna try to do some next shit I can't do. She's like I'm gonna play myself being Harriet Tubman. And a lot of people online were like, but she was really just being Jennifer Lewis. Blah blah blah. I'm like first uh, and like she, and I don't think like, she was being Jennifer Lewis. That's what that that was what a uh, uh, thing on Twitter and I saw on Facebook. But I was like, hey, even if that was the case, bitch, you, no one knows what Harriet Tubman sound is like. There's no audio files. For all we know, Harriet Tubman spoke just like Harriet Tubman spoke just like Bob the Drag Queen. We don't know. So who like, Harriet Tubman was like? Uh, maybe Harriet Tubman was was twisting her shoulders and her head at the same time, honey. <laughs> all these white people have been Miss RuPaul. Let's talk about Got Mick. Got Mick was deserved this win. This yes. shit was so good. Uh, to me, one of the top Smash games ever. Would you agree with that? Uh, top 10. Top 10, maybe. Maybe. Maybe like 9 or 10. But it yeah. was really good. And and, when she, and and like her bits kept getting better and better. That that bit at the top where you like... So everyone good. Knows, if you watch the Paris Hilton documentary on YouTube, Paris Hilton has a deep voice. That yeah. voice she does is not her real voice. So there's something really funny. I mean, she first of all, she looked like Paris Hilton. Girl, she, girl, I I legitimately th- I was like, I thought okay, so we were really honest when when the thing started, I thought they were doing a thing where Paris Hilton was gonna be a guest judge and like you know how Drag Race films these things and then she'll be like, oops, I'm sitting on the one side of the table. She'll get up and go to sit at her thing. Christina Aguilera, yeah. But like I was like, she looked so much like her. It was great. And it was also nice to see Got Mick with like a softer beat because she always paints really harsh. Yeah. But to see her soften her makeup up was also really nice to see as well. All right, who was who the next person? Who was the next one in line? Rosé, Queen of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots. This was uh, this was funny. It was good. It was top yeah. two for me. Um, she was great. Yeah, I thought I, I, I thought she's funny too. I thought she looked really good. Um, yeah, I thought she was funny. Here's a question though: Is Rosé born? Was Rosé born in Scotland? 
She has not mentioned this once on the show where she was. This bitch will let you know. It is so important to her that you know she was born in Scotland. I'm like, all right, girl, we know. Tina Burner. Tina Burner as Richard Simmons, which was also safe. It wasn't bad. Some of the jokes didn't land. Some of the jokes were funny. Tina Burner was perfectly safe. Well, when she pulled out the fucking legs, I was like, why would she, like, she should have built up to it, but when she brought out the legs, she was just doing this. I was like, it would have been so funny if she brought out the legs and had them in, like, a split. The camera would have cut back to her, and she would have had her body this way, and, like, just, like, playing with the optical illusion of the legs. Like, I feel like there was more, she could, instead of just waving them and doing something like that, I feel like she she plateaued there when they, there was so much more funny that could have come with the legs. Yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, Patrick Starr. This was... See, Patrick Starr and Simone are on the same thing. This was this was just Candy Muse making a bunch of fat jokes about Patrick Starr. Yeah, and which is crazy because if you watch Patrick's videos, Patrick does not comment on his weight often. Like he'll say like little things, but Candy was really playing up with this like fat thing, and that's not something Patrick does. Also, her voice it is just so. I mean, she like Patrick. Starr, I, it was you cannot. I was like, I'm totally. I'm not. I'm not there. I'm not there with you. I like, I like dicks and hot dogs, girl. Dicks and hot dogs. I'm like, that. that's not how Patrick Starr talks. At Patrick Starr is, Star is basically a Disney kid at this point. Like, Patrick Honestly. Starr is not talking about dicks. They're not about ho- um, being hungry. It just felt like a bunch of fat stabs at, <laughs> at Patrick Starr. You know what I mean? Now, moving on to just not funny, Tabitha Brown from Olivia. This, okay, I looked up Tabitha Brown. Have you looked her up yet? I, I knew Tyra Brown. I, I, I follow her on TikTok and stuff. She's so funny. So, all, first of all, every, Tabitha Brown starts off... Tabitha Brown has a has an affectation she like where she's... Yeah, yeah but she, she, has, she has a southern accent and she has a black accent and she also has a bit of a speech impediment. So, whenever she logs on, she goes... Every video, she starts by going, Hello, Dea. Hello, Dea. Hello, Dea, everybody. I'm so happy to see y'all today. Yeah. And, um... Olivia didn't do her voice... Olivia didn't do her catchphrases. Olivia didn't do anything but wear curly hair and say she's vegan. Yeah. I mean, there's some things just on the top of my head she could have done was maybe because obviously Tabitha, is no, she's known through Instagram and TikTok. She does a lot of incorporating some type of influence or something. Uh, uh, what the, the suggestion is, Rue, uh, again, and I think, and I have suffered from this too, you think that Rue, Rue is actively trying to help you in the workrooms. Rue is not trying to tell you things to throw you off the trail or to make you lose. Like, it's but, like but you know, advice. when you're there, you think when you're on RuPaul's Drag Race, you are under the impression that everyone's out to get you. And if yes. RuPaul says, if RuPaul says, don't do this, it's a trick, because you should have right. done it. And then that's going to, you think everyone's there to get, trick you. Bitch, on my season, for some reason, we thought Robbie Turner was a plant from the producer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all weren't too far from the truth. Let's move down to Jonathan Van Ness, who for me was in the top three of Snatch Game performances. Yeah, definitely top three. I will say on social media, because I saw that, I watched the episode literally this morning. Um, I, a lot, like, on social, I, I, again, I thought it was good, but people on social media were like, oh my God, the best of the night. I thought it was good, but it was not, like, to me, pa- God makes Paris, so it was so good and yeah. so Denali's like you know fell a little bit but I, but Denali was very funny so Denali surprised me especially for doing such a bad job in the acting challenge earlier she's she did a really good job yeah. in Snatch Game she really got his manner their mannerisms down like she the did. I mean and the laugh and the way that she talked and the, and the first of all also that wig was laid it was yeah, her hair looks good. It was it was it was a little too shiny, but that's nit- nitpicking. So let's move down to uh, your best LA friend, with two T's. LA with two T's, and uh, this was Rue McClanahan. And this is this is a bad. This is bad. This is <sighs> she is. This is the definition of one note. This is one note the entire time. Also, she's southern. If anyone there can do an even bigger affectation of a southern accent it should be you i know this bitch got cousins and relatives that talk real southern like and like real deep talk like this it's rue mcclanahan is known for being a southern belle a southern lady play that up and be larger than life but she just was literally just talking like herself normally didn't do anything anyway uh it was just it was just bad and speaking of bad let's go down to utica i don't even know what is going on <laughs> utica does this thing where she does the opposite of anything, they give her the advice, and they're like, "You should wear the afro. I'm gonna wear squirrels. 
You don't want to be dry. I'm really good at dry humor. You should do this. I'm like, girl, just at some point, you got to take the advice. Yeah. Also, um, Rue has like a thing. It's like a visual thing. He cannot watch people eat. And on my season of, of season 10, when we did Snatch Game, and um, uh, Eureka was squirting ketchup in her mouth, and Rue literally had to turn the other way. And he's like, please stop, please stop. Because Rue cannot like watch people eat, so Utica, So when fucking Utica put that paint in her mouth, Rue was probably literally gonna dry heave and fucking donkey punch that bitch. Wait, so did Eureka stop when she did it? When she said please stop, or did she? No, B bitch, you 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 try to stop Eureka from emptying emptying an entire bottle of ketchup into her mouth. Okay, you try to. You a loser arm, bitch. <laughs> All right, let's let's. So Monet, who do you think was the best and who was the worst? Oh, Paris Hilton got make fucking slayed. It was so good. And the worst for me would have to be at least Utica looked really good. Elliot was bad and also looked bad. So Elliot. You know, it's a it's a toss up. But if I'm if I'm basing just off of Snatch Game, I'm gonna maybe give it to. I will say this, at least Elliot, the first time she did the man thing, it could have been a little bit funny. I don't think there was a single point in time where Utica said anything that was funny. Yeah, not anything. And then also the, the weird, random, unnecessary fat joke at Pork Chop at the end. <laughs> I was like, why would Bob Ross make a fat joke about Pork Chop? <laughs> I was like, weird time. Um, well, we have this, Jacob has a picture of Raven here. Okay, I want to say that. Oh, we need. Okay, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to talk whoa, about whoa, this. Whoa, baby, whoa, whoa, there whoa. This, there are these accusations. Whoa, 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 baby, whoa, whoa, whoa. There are these accusations in the world that Raven is black fishing, and I no. feel like we should make it. Wait, don't give your answer yet. Oh. We could have a Patreon exclusive about this if you want. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Because I, I have a lot of thoughts about it. Um, we will have a Patreon exclusive about the black fishing. Um, the accu the black fishing accusations. Let's go, let's so let's hop over to RuPaul. This dress is this dress is fine. It, 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 it this is not her most stunning look. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's move on to Olivia Lux by Abraham Levy. Okay, so she, okay, I'm not loving this look. Yeah, I agree. I was not loving it. I get it's obviously a Dexas Laboratory reference. I love that. She's one of my favorite. Didi, get out of my laboratory. Well, she should have worn black boots. I mean, it, it, it's a little. This is fine. The the coat is is a basic lab coat. I do like the little pointy finger gloves. I was Jacob pointed out this is a really missed opportunity for a reveal. But the but but the headpiece is cute. And I don't like the green makeup. I, she, it, it made her look so muddy. I don't like that. This is the best Rosé's looked, in my opinion. I agree. It's. I think it's good too. I don't know what her obsession with this. I agree with Michelle. Her obsession with this like rougey fabric thing is whatever but i do like this i think that i think that rose looks good she looks she looks this is the one of the best she's looked on the, on on the show she looks good apparently we have a very important call coming in let's see what it is um did you see that rose and lala re had the same look if you go to lala re instagram she's basically wearing what rose is wearing Oh yeah. my god, not oh my god oh, and i like lala re's better oh, yeah. oh my god lala looks... re is way better Lala Reed's looks <laughs> Bitch, Rose is so lucky that Lala Reed got sent home because this look is great. She would have counted her fucking lucky stars. I wonder what Lala Reed was gonna do as a snatch game. Could this could this, this could have been this could have been starting Lala's redemption. And then you know she was gonna do um Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth was <laughs> Alright, anyway. Everything. First of all, from I just I love the like this is the most shape I've ever seen her have. That oh, that's literally what I wrote. I was like, oh my god, she has on this hip thing. I was like, I love it. It gives her so much more body and mo a way better silhouette. I loved it. Yeah, even before I saw the message, I loved this outfit, and then I saw the the message, and I felt and I, and I super loved it. Like this is this is a great look. This is yeah. great. Yeah, she looks amazing. Let's move on to uh, Got Mick, who's wearing um, what, 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 what is, Got Mick and Nats Getty. I don't want to. I don't want to be one of those folks who kind of reference everyone, but just to give a point of reference, like there's something about Got Mick that's very Aquaria, but it's also very Raja. Like she, she just really understands fashion really well. Her makeup is remarkable. This Ooh. is. There's no way anyone else would have come up with this idea, so she doesn't have, have to worry about that. 
Yeah. Like the mullet, the outfit, the little safety pins on the. Ju- uh, this is great. Got Mick looks yeah. amazing. She looks amazing. She looks great. Like the only thing I like about Denali's is the coffee on the head. Everything. Yeah, this is uh, uh, the, the rest. Is so this basic. is an outfit from. This is an outfit from the, the costume store. Yeah, it's very basic, and I get the skating thing. I don't need, and I get she's doing like a '50s car hop roller like Sonic fantasy. I I don't like the not wearing the heels on the runway, and it is different, but I'm not into it. Okay, we gotta move on to Elliot. I'm t- burn it, w- burn it, put burn put it with car- fire, burn, put burn it with fire, kerosene all over it, and just strike a match and throw it on this goddamn outfit. What the fuck is she wearing? When Michelle was being like, it's great. And then, and then, um, uh, T.S. Madison was like, you are so put together. I was like, based on this? Yeah, the hair looks crazy. The, like, no, this is so, and like, if you're going to do this nude illusion, why the baggy pant? I didn't understand why the baggy weird pant. It was a weird choice. Let's hear another opinion. Elliot looked around the room, saw what everybody was doing and wearing, and said, well, this is it for me. And she just <laughs> gave up. She did not put her all into that. We've seen her dance, and we've seen her fight against Lala Ri, and this was not the same caliber. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, yeah. When she, I was like, Elliot, I've seen you move. You're a very good dancer. She, in my opinion, I don't know. This is my, I might be fully wrong. It felt like she was like, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done, I think y'all. So too. I can't do, I can't do this shit no more because she, I was remember thinking to myself like that fucking that shit she did against Lala Ree. I was like, Elliot went bananas with girl. Yeah. I was saying right now when that Kelly Clarkson song came on, Elliot said, "Bitch, this we'll is get my there. We'll get moment. there. You're giving it away." Sorry, 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 sorry. So let's okay, let's move on to the thieving bitch herself. No, I'm kidding. Um, Candy Muse. By the way, money. This is literally my fabric. Uh, Black and White Stripe said, um, fun fact, if you think this fabric looks familiar, you're not wrong. This was this was one of the first looks I was signed on for the season before the stores were fully reopened from lockdown, and we were discussing fabric options on how to obtain them. Candy mentioned that she thought, thought a black and white hound suit would be fun to play off the texture of the feathers we already ordered. Luckily for her, I had just finished Bobby Drag Queen's Pissed Off Collection a few weeks earlier and had enough scraps left over a hound suit lying around. Uh, that I could piece together uh, and get it started right away. Honestly, I'm honored to be a part of this look because I do think she looks great. I think she looks great too. I love I love the fascinator. Um, I love the silhouette. I think she looks great. Yeah, yeah. The fascinator. I mean, the, the Mew looks a little messy. Maybe. Am I being too Good. nitpicky? I think you're being too nitpicky. Which this was in a fucking suitcase, and I think she looks great. I mean, okay. You don't. There's no. You don't get to make, get there and make excuses about why stuff. You don't get to be like. That's oh, for me. Suitcase. That's for me. I get to say what I was acceptable for me. You worry about you. And let's talk <laughs> about uh, the lip sync. So, L- Elliot was a thousand percent phoning it in. She was phoning oh, it girl. in. She was like, "Oh, Utica has long legs. I can't keep up with her, bitch." Just like two weeks ago, whatever it was, you were getting, you were wild, you were doing all the things, and now you can't keep up. Uh, right, no. Lalaurie has long legs too. Lalaurie's like six foot two. That bitch got long legs. You you swept her ass, her black ass back to Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> she was. She, she, she I will say, Utica did a good job though. Utica scrubbed that hoe. Like Utica really did a good job. And and she, she there was one little moment where Utica had a crunchy little kick. Oh yeah, her little yeah, <laughs> that little kick. I was like, ooh, that kick is crunchy. But I do think Utica did a good job. And I mean, she did a good job. Yeah, you know? Elliot is gone. I told you. I said Elliot was going so or going home soon. Nobody believed me. That's not true. Everyone believes you. You thought <laughs> no one thought Elliot was going to the finale. No <laughs> one thought that. <laughs> Elliot didn't even think that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So thank you so much for joining us, uh, and we'll talk to y'all Thanks. soon.